how are you? Congratulations. Hey, how are you doing? Thank you. What, uh, can you take us into what the phone call was like and uh, sort of what your emotions are right now, who you celebrated with? Um, you know, I was just sitting around and then all of a sudden the phone rung and then it hung up and I seen it was like California and then it called back again and I was like, you know, uh, I looked at my manager and I was like, I think it's the Rams and I answered. And so sure enough, it was the Rams, and he, they just got on the phone, just pretty much was like, "Hey, are you ready to be a Ram?" And I was like, "Yes, yeah, sir." Did you have an indication that it might be the Rams before this? I mean, as the process went on. Um, no, I didn't. I really didn't know where I was going to be taking or what, what round. Really, I was just, you know, um, just sitting around waiting. Um, and then the Rams call, and then you know. My emotion, my emotions was through the roof. What, what's what's the uh, feeling or sense of pride that you get being an HBCU product and 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 getting drafted? Um, it's just really you know coming from an HBCU, uh, alongside myself, the other guys that's in the draft with me, we just trying to set the bar, set the bar high for not only us, uh, but other other people along with us, uh in the draft and people that's coming in behind us next year. We're just trying to open up more doors and, you know, uh, letting other players know that they never lose hope. Kobe, how would you describe your playing style and what DBs do you model yourself after? Um, I, I say I modify my game style from uh, like Stefan Gilmore, Tyrant Matthew type style, uh, a little bit of Marshawn Lattimore as well. But, uh, you know, I just – I feel like my playing style, you know, just being a gnat to the ball and, you know, just, you know, whenever the ball is in the air, it's mine, it's nobody else. Just being a ball hawk. Uh, as you were kind of studying what fits might you might want to go to and, you know, obviously probably being familiar with Jalen Ramsey and, and what the Rams have been able to do uh, the past couple of years – what is your sort of enthusiasm about joining this group? And, and also um, schematically, where do you see yourself competing um, early on in your career? Um, I just really want to come in and get ready to work wherever, wherever the coaches need me to be at, wherever position, um, you know, I'm just ready to get in and, you know, handle the business, come to work and uh, produce it each day. You ever been to California before? Never been to California. It's nice. <laughs> I'm wondering. I'm wondering. Can you uh, share a little bit about who you're celebrating with, and maybe what their reactions were, and uh, maybe the the first people you hugged, and and what they said. Um, I'm here. I'm celebrating here with my uh my family. I'm celebrating here with my uh uh pretty much my whole family. And uh, my manager is here as well. You know, when I got the call, me and him just pretty much got up and we walked in the room and I answered the phone. And then, uh, you know, whenever my name was called on TV, everybody was screaming. It sounded, it sounded like I was at an amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kobe, man, we appreciate it. Can I get one more? I'm sorry. Um, hey, just one last question for you, Jacoby. As, so as you've developed in your football career from high school to now being drafted in the NFL, can you share how you've always been working to get to this point? Yes, sir. I just pretty much never lost hope. Um, I faced a little bit of adversity in my life. Uh, you know, um, coming out of high school, I had zero offers. So that kind of, you know, kind of touched me in, in, in a wrong way because uh, I knew I had the talent or whatnot. But, you know, just being able to stay humble and never losing hope and just trusting God. I wouldn't be in this position without God, and God has uh, has played a huge part of my life. 